Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News for your barrel-scraping content between Christmas and New Year's, the best time of year for irreverent Bachelor news. And we have a few stories wondering if Gary Turner and Teresa need prenups, prenuptial agreements, before they get married. Uh, just over one week uh, from, uh, I guess, one week from tomorrow, uh, they'll be getting married on ABC. It's going to be a event nobody shall want to miss unless there's anything better to do. Uh, but we'll be here covering it as we always do. Follow me on Instagram at Dean Neals for stand up show updates. Next Thursday, the week before their marriage or their wedding, I'll be uh, performing stand up at uh, Rec Room in Huntington Beach, California. If you want to come to that show, link for tickets right down there. Also, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I will be there this morning at the 10 30 a.m. hour. If you want to come hang with us in the private live stream and every morning and afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast, which, by the way, it has been a very successful year for the podcast, so thank you to everyone who's stuck around for that and these videos. It's completely different content. I'm giving you all new pop culture content, and if you enjoy uh, me rambling, you're going to love what we have over there. All right, so this whole story kind of came about organically through seeing a few different uh, pieces of coverage here. Bachelor at Windmill, one of our favorite uh, Bachelor Instagram accounts, posted this. Teresa supposedly wants a prenup before wedding. Sources say Gary is offended by this and thinks she doesn't trust him. So who are the sources? We have no idea. This is what appears to be an original uh, piece of content from Bachelor at Windmill. Even Date Card Pod said, is there a source for this? Um, and uh, there is no exact source, but it doesn't mean they didn't come to Bachelor at Windmill with this. Now, if someone like Reality Steve had posted this, we would think, oh, he must have some more information. We don't know if this is just a rumor or what. So take it slightly with a grain of salt. We're going to get into some other articles that exist. The one from the beacon of journalistic integrity, The Sun, which has caused us a lot of problems this year. Golden Bachelor winner Teresa's friends beg her to get a prenup. So we'll get into that in a second. Uh, and I'm going to play very briefly their conversation with Kelly and Mark. I can't believe they still do this show. Well, you know, so they went on Kelly and Mark, and I'm not going to share all of this with you because it'll get a content violation, but Kelly and Mark say, hey, why don't we just do the wedding right now? Mark's an ordained minister, and, and we'll do it right now. So they surprise them. Have a listen. Minister. I am. Oh. 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 And, you know, since we're all gathered here today. Oh. Okay, so then they drop the lights, they add the bouquet of flowers, and they uh, propose, and Teresa looks nervous. Gary goes along with a bit. Teresa needs an improv class. She's like, well, no, we can't do this yet. And it's like, it's, it's fake, Teresa. It's fake. The whole thing's fake. But either way, what's interesting with Kelly and Mark is that Kelly is a known uh, hater of The Bachelor. She just thinks it's stupid. And, you know, she's kind of for they're, they're essentially forced to interview The Bachelor contestants after they go on the show it's just a dumb thing but it's the synergy of being on abc it's like you want to be on abc you got to interview our people and do dancing with the stars guest that's how it works right so either way uh, they did this interview, and you know Gary Turner was asked about the proposal. You guys remember he dragged the proposal out, and then Gary said um, on on live with Kelly and Mark, uh, he said that the proposal was horrible. Not the actual proposal to Teresa, but the way he dragged it out. Gary, do the producers do the producers force you to do that? Kelly Ripa asked. They make you drag it on like that and keep us all in suspense. Uh, and then Gary said, "I came to the realization again when he proposed that you're not the right person for me to live with." Gary told Teresa before a long pause you're the person I can't live without okay so he says the producers held him up to that which we all know which is important for the next part of the segment where we all know the producers are behind uh, how they propose the storylines the character arcs so when I share with you the fact that people are saying oh Gary lied already you have to remember in the context of a TV show I'm sure Teresa's fine with it she's got autonomy she wouldn't be marrying him on their big wedding day next Thursday if they weren't fine. So there's an article here, How to Watch the Golden Wedding. Uh, Golden Wedding will air live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on January 4th on ABC. and will be available to stream on Hulu the next day. So we'll be here covering that. Maybe if there's enough interest, we'll have a pre-show wedding party. Get your charcuterie boards ready. We'll see. Okay, so here's the credible article and i say credible in quotes here because it's not but uh more no offense to bachelor at windmill she posted a graphic saying there's worry now we have an actual article here 
Golden Bachelor winner Teresa's friends beg her to get a prenup after fiancé Gary Turner is caught lying. So we'll get to this article in a second. But first, we've got here two different articles that share how much they're worth, which these articles, by the way, are rough estimations. Do not take this seriously. They say Teresa has a net worth of 500 million, uh, 500,000 to 1 million, and then Gary Turner has a net worth of about 1.5 million per life in style magazine. He was a retired restaurant owner, which by the way, probably made a good amount of money. He owns property. If you bought it before the last couple booms, it's probably worth a ton of money. And he's, uh, you know, whatever. So he, uh, yeah, I'm sure Gary's worth a, a good little chunk there. And uh, a lot of folks will say, well, when Gary decided to uh, propose to Teresa, it wasn't till the moment where he found out she was worth money. And it's like, well, may, I mean, maybe, maybe Gary w liked her because she was worth the same amount he's worth and they were on the same page and he wouldn't have to be providing for her. I mean, two two folks coming into a marriage this late in their life, they, they're kind of both in the almost, if not on the fixed income level, considering and getting to the point of a fixed income and they probably have enough nut to take care of themselves and now they wouldn't need each other so in some ways you could say hey gary's choice to go with Teresa actually just shows how much he really loves her because he needs nothing of her she needs nothing of him but of course the haters will say oh he just wants her money this and that and it's like first of all He's generated a pretty good following from this show. You're out of your mind if you don't think Gary Turner is going to be doing Prilosec commercials. He's an older man. No offense to my older generation here, but we're a country run by Big Pharma. And trust me, they're going to throw some money at him to get like a, I don't know, a Viagra. Can you imagine Gary Turner with a Viagra commercial? He's going to make a fortune. He's He's got equity. He's got assets, folks. Golden Bachelor when a Teresa's friends beg her to get a prenup. Gary and Teresa are set to be married January 4th in a wedding that will be live streamed on ABC. Those close to the show's final rose recipient, Teresa, have begged her to use protection. What kind, we ask? During the Golden Bachelor finale, Gary proposed to Teresa, choosing to give his final rose to her instead of 64-year-old fitness instructor Leslie. However, nearly immediately, Gary's thorns came out as he was caught lying or contradicting certain aspects of his life. Of course, we call that a slam piece. It was a shoddy journalism by The Hollywood Reporter, which we've completely called out. Yeah, sure, uh, segments of his life were omitted uh, for a storyline Line, but it was not in a sort of way that I believe makes him look like a horrible person. Sorry, don't buy it. Take that to my grave. Trace's friends are stressing the importance of having a prenup, a source told Life and Style. He's been caught lying and people are telling Teresa to think twice. Now Gary's having to explain himself and Teresa is questioning everything he's ever said, the source disclosed. Fans online are in agreement on the prenup as they express in the comments. I'm not. Actually, I am. I am for a prenup. I will, but but not for the reasons you think. Um, my, as my wife, I was talking to her just recently, and she said, you know, prenups are good because, you know, what if Teresa has family assets? They don't want to get them tangled up. I know my mom uh, and her siblings were caught in a nasty, nasty court battle because their mom remarried and the kids of the remarried father wanted assets that they thought they were entitled to. It's just brutal. Yes, there should be agreements drawn up in the in the event that one of them passes away because they're both knocking on the, I mean, they're, they're both in their seventies. They're, they're, they're on the back end of the golf course here, folks. Uh, so, so when that happens, you're going to want to have it all divided up. The last thing you want. And again, I know, I know that's more of a will and less a prenup, but the last thing you want is to have your kids fighting, uh, after you're gone. That's, that just sounds horrible. Uh, someone said, I think she should. He's clearly not someone that is totally honest. One person said, Oh, shut it. Another warned, be a smart lady and get a prenup or get out. Once a liar, always a liar. Oh, shut up. These are the uh, fourth slammed. Gary is gross. No Prince Charming. All decisions have consequences. Think long-term and remove the rose-colored glasses. Long-term, they got married after knowing each other for a shuffleboard game. What do you want them to do? And of course, yes, I, I just think the idea of a prenup usually sounds uh, bad if you're, you know, if, if you're 25 and you, you want a prenup. It's like, what, are you not trying to make this relationship last? And who knows? I mean, you know, if you have a lot of money, maybe you do want to protect some of your assets, but it does have this negative connotation here. 
So anyway, it goes on and on. They talk about the contradictions, about how Gary said he had never dated, and turns out he had a living girl. Can it? Shut up. How stupid. So I found this article, as you like to do, The Gray Prenup. Should senior couples get prenups? Uh, what funds or income with the newly formed senior couple use to provide for themselves and pay their expenses? In a prenup, a gray couple can decide how they will support themselves during the marriage. They can make a cohesive plan for withdrawing retirement assets depending on their relative wealth. For instance, if one of the spouses has a very large retirement plan and the other does not, the couple can make a mutual decision to rely more heavily on the larger plan. The couple can commit to sharing household expenses or in proportion to their income or assets. Many couples do this informally and can make decisions without wishing to memorialize them in a prenup. Others may want to set these plans out in a prenup. So it's my thing to say, look, do I think Gary would have a problem if Teresa needed a prenup? No. I mean, he's proven over and over again to be a very chill dude. And any amount of these sort of like negative comments that are online about he's a liar, he's this or he's that, I, th I don't think Teresa thinks twice about it. If they don't work up, I don't think a court's going to steal our home and get, you know, like what? I don't know. I could be wrong. I'd love to know your stories. I'm sure there's some horror stories out there. Either way, um, prenup or not, I don't think it'll be a bad deal if they get one. And who are these friends of Teresa that are running to Life and Style magazine? No offense, Teresa. You might not need a prenup. You might need a new friend group. We'll be back with more content right after this.